Hi there, Godwin Selassie, Lako here. This is Make It Lega. I'm excited to come your way again to bring you a very interesting topic for discussion. Make it legal. Today's topic is a continuation of what we started in our previous video about the court system. We discussed about the lower court. Today we are looking at the superior court, what we call the superior court of judicature. That is a term you hear lawyers use a lot. The superior court of judicature. There are three courts within the superior court of judicature. That level of court, there are three of them. One is the high court. Okay, so you will hear judge, lawyers and judges say the high court of justice. That is just one. The second one is the court of appeal. Okay? And then the third, but not certainly the least, is the supreme court. So let's talk about the high court. Now, the high court is only one court. It has jurisdiction over every civil or criminal matter happening in any part of the country. Okay, so it could be at Kumasi. But it has power to hear a case coming from Seho, or coming from Takwadi or Kufredra. So it has jurisdiction to hear cases across all the regions. It doesn't have any limit in terms of money, monetary limits, like how Circuit Court and District Court has a limit to be 500,000 for District Court and then 2 million Ghana cities for Circuit Court. But for the High Court, from zero to infinity, they can determine any matter that involves such figures. So it's presided over by a judge or sometimes by a judge and a jury what is a jury it's a whole topic for discussion another time but let me give you a brief of it a jury is basically citizen society who have been empaneled to determine whether or not someone is guilty of a particular crime there are specific crimes that only a jury or jurors decide the fate of the accused person one of them is murder so if you're accused of murder and you be punished before you are convicted and punished the people who decide whether you are guilty or not guilty are called jurors okay and they are persons you know picked from society and they empanel them to hear the case and decide your fate so that's a juror so sometimes when a judge at the high court is hearing a criminal matter that judge would hear it with the jury usually seven member panel jury high court is usually presided over by a judge alone or a judge and a jury and in some cases three judges when they are hearing matters involving treason or high treason for that three judges must be started in the high court like i mentioned earlier they can handle cases in civil and criminal matters across the whole country however there are some specific divisions and some of them cannot hear some matters in other regions because of convenience so, for example, if you have a dispute that occurred in Takradi and you go to file at, say, Ho High Court, the other side could come and say, my lord, filing the case in Ho instead of Takradi where the dispute occurred is creating so much inconvenience. Therefore, let's change the forum. So you'll still be in the same High Court, but you'll change the forum and go to another forum, which is where the dispute occurred or where the defendant, the one who you brought the case against, carries on business. So... It will be at a credit instead of going to do it at home. So that is just a decision you need to know. The High Court is one, but it has it sits in various regions and has various divisions. You hear of uh, probate and administration division, you hear of general jurisdiction, you hear of uh, land division, you hear of labor division, you hear of human rights division, a lot of them. They are all administrative divisions, but it's still the same high court the high court also has the power to hear appeals appeals are basically uh, when you had a dispute in a particular court it was resolved the judge gives a judgment you are not satisfied you want to challenge it so you appeal to the court that is ahead of that court to rehear the case so that is an appeal so the high court can hear appeals and then those appeals must be coming from the district court in all matters and from circuit court in criminal matters. So that is just what Now, how do we call the judges that preside at the high court? How do we call them? Would you want to guess? I guess your guess is right. So we call them my lord or your lordship. If it's a lady, my lady or your ladyship. That's what we call them. So let's talk about court of appeal. Court of appeal is also 
there's only one court of appeal like just as we have one high court we also have just one court of appeal and it is usually constituted for its work by three members of the court of appeal okay three persons join as a panel to hear a dispute that has been brought they only deal in appeals you don't start the case with them you only come to them when you are aggrieved by a decision made by a court below them for example all criminal and civil appeal from the high court can go to the court of appeal okay subject to some conditions to be met and all of that then when it comes to circuit court circuit court all civil appeals if you are aggrieved by a decision made by a circuit court in a civil matter you don't appeal to the high court you appeal to the court of appeal so the court of appeal will impanel three judges of the court of appeal to hear your appeal and then i pray they give you a good judgment okay so that is about court of appeal now let's look at the highest court in ghana the supreme court your supreme court is a unique court it's the court of last resort if you have been aggrieved by a lower court you go to a superior court one of them hears you you said aggrieved the last place you can end at is a supreme court so they are usually considered for their worth by minimum of five judges they can be seven they can be nine in some instances depending on the nature of the case before them but usually five for their work there are some instances where only one of them can sit and hear the case some of those cases lawyers call them interlocutory applications it's an application that is happening within the main case you brought so that one one of them can sit and hear it and if you don't agree with the decision the one makes you bring it again before the full three of them to hear the same thing applies to the supreme court as well uh, when it comes to interlocutory applications you go to the one member of the supreme court can hear it and and like an injunction you want it to be heard one member will hear it and that will be it okay so when it comes to the main work of the supreme court like hearing appeals from court of appeal hearing cases that are filed with them fresh they must be five or seven or sometimes nine usually an odd number in that nature that is about the supreme court we only have one supreme court in ghana not two not three only one they sit in accra that is usually where they've been sitting since uh establishment as far as i know appeals from the court of appeal automatically goes to the supreme court of course there may be some instances where you have to meet certain requirements or meet certain conditions before you can go to the supreme court with that appeal there's something you need to note about appeal process we'll talk about them in a different video but just a brief for you when you have a case that was that is about treason or high treason and then it's decided by three judges of the high court and you don't agree with the decision you think they were wrong and the application of the law was not correct in your opinion you can challenge that and challenging you don't go to the court of appeal you go straight to the supreme court so that is one instance where you bypass the court of appeal and go to the supreme court with an appeal from the high court well, as far as supreme court is concerned how do we call the judges there you will hear the term like jsc justice of supreme court that's what it means but we also refer to them as what my lord or man or your lordship if they are males and then my lady or your ladyship if they are female thank you this is godwin selassie dapo and it's been how to make it legal please like this video share it comment and subscribe to the channel see you in the next video this is make it legal make it legal